Hey guys, if you haven't already, you should subscribe to this channel. My name is Emily, and I make videos every single week about stuff like this and other things. You can check out my channel if you want to see more videos. So in the past year, I have been doing a lot of different things. My hair was legitimately this short, um, and I was struggling so much to grow it. Now my hair is way down here. These are really specific things I did where I saw huge growth after doing them. So I'm giving you my best tips on how to grow your hair out. So I'm gonna walk you through it. The first tip I have is I wash my hair probably every three to four days and I used to wash it every single day. So I shower every day but I don't wash my hair every day and that helps it sort of keep in the natural oils and all that kind of stuff, but it also just is a lot less wear and tear on your hair. So when I do shower, I use the Sulfate Free Blonde Idol. I know Sulfate Free is really good for your hair, so I use this, I got it at Ulta. I use Blue Malva by Aveda because it's just an awesome shampoo and the price point is not that bad. I think it's like $18. Now that I only wash my hair th every three to four days, I don't power through all the product I used to. So this actually lasts me a really long time. And this bottle is huge, so it obviously lasts me a really long time. I have been loving this. It keeps the brassiness out of my hair. I have platinum blonde hair, and I don't like when it turns orange or goldish. So yeah, this has been my very favorite conditioner, and I'm probably just gonna use this forever. I use this after I shower, and I just let my hair air dry. This is the only thing I use on my hair. I used to put like smoothing serums in, and all this different stuff, but I found that my hair got really greasy really fast, and if I'm only washing it every few days, I don't want any grease. And simplifying that routine has really helped get my hair back to the roots of what it was. If you see pictures of me even two years ago, my hair looks so damaged. Tip number four, three, or whatever we're on, that is to take a multivitamin. Now, I take prenatal vitamins because I'm pregnant, but I think any multivitamin works and it's good for you anyways, so take a multivitamin. Don't spend your money on some crazy hair growing vitamin, just take a multivitamin, it works really well. Okay, so the next tip is I never blow dry my hair, and if that means I am showering at night and sleeping with a towel on my pillow, that's what it means, but I schedule my showers so that I don't have to blow dry my hair. And I used to blow dry it every single time because I thought I got a lot more volume, but I was also really damaging my hair. That's maybe the number one or number two reason why I've had so much growth in the past year is because I stopped blow drying my hair. And my secret weapon tip number six or five or whatever tip this is, the thing that's maybe made the biggest difference is I only trim my hair every other time that I get it colored. And when I trim it, I ask her to dust the ends, and please do not trim an inch off, just dust the ends. Also, I know this was requested the exact color that I get. Um, I'm going to put that formula in Aveda terms down in the description box. I go to an Aveda salon, so they do all Aveda terms. I don't know if this could be translated to like taking it to another salon that doesn't use Aveda, but this is what my stylist uses and I just got the formula straight from her. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did find it helpful, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys next week, and I love you. Mwah.